Hello friends, in this video we will see how we can schedule the python script. In order to demonstrate this, uh, I have created a one very simple python program uh, test.py. If I open this, you can see it is having only a three statements and what it does is it is writing the wonderful things in the output file. This is our output file. You can see this is blank right now. Now my requirement is like I need to automate this uh, Python script test.py so that after every one minute this script gets executed and it is writing the wonderful things in the output file automatically. Now in order to achieve this, we have a two methods. The first method is the add file method. And the second method is the direct Python method. So first we will go with the add file method. So in this method, we will be creating our bat file and with the help of that bat file we will be running the python script test.py and we will be scheduling this uh, bat file in the windows scheduler so first uh, to create the bat file what you have to do is you have to right click go to this new and select this text document now a new text doc document has been created, you open this and in this text document we have to pass some windows command. So you must be aware of that, that bat files are basically used to run the uh, windows command one after another in a sequence manner. Now here we have to pass the path for the python uh, exe file and we have to pass the complete directory path of the, our uh, python script in order to get the path for the python exe what you have to do here is you have to go to the search and you have to write here run then pass cmd and then give the command where python so if a python is installed in your machine now this command will give you the location of the python exe file you can copy the very first appearance and we will be using this as the as the python exe to execute our python script now to pass this you have to give here this uh, double quotes then paste the directory that we have copied in the command prompt and close this double quotes then give one space and now we have to pass the complete directory of the python script so this is the complete directory of the python script i have copied it and again you have to give this double quotes then paste then you have to give this backslash and you have to pass the name of the python script which is test.py and you have to close this double quotes next you have to go to this uh, file and you have to save as give the name as a test because our program name is the test.py so we will be creating the bat file as a test dot bat it's up to your choice you can give any name actually now now the name is test dot bat bat and we will save this we can close this so you can see a file has been created here and you can see the symbol of the bat windows bat file symbol is there in the test dot bat and you can delete this new text document this is no longer needed 
Now, in order to check whether our bat file has been configured uh, correctly or not, if you double click on this, your Python program should get executed. So in my case, uh, my output file should have the wonderful things the statement written here. And you can see it is written out here. So let's uh, execute one more time the test bat and let's open this output file. You can see you can see another line uh, has been written as a wonderful things. Now this whole process of writing this output file, I am going to automate with the help of the Windows scheduler. Now in order to open the Windows scheduler, you have to go to this search and you have to give your scheduler S C H E, and you can see something called task scheduler. You click on this, the task scheduler will be open and just follow the steps which I am going to tell you right now. So you click on this arrow and what you have to do here is you can create a new folder. So just right click after selecting this task scheduler library and click on this new folder and we will give the name as a tutorial. Press OK. So our new folder has now got created having the name as a tutorial. You can put the cursor somewhere here and just right click then select the option create new task. You can give the name as a test and then you select the second option run whether user is logged or not and then you select this do not store password the, the task will have access to local resources and then you select this run with the highest privileges so next go to this uh, triggers and you can see here there is something called new you click on this so this window pops out so select this uh, as a daily in the advanced setting you can opt this option for repeat task every and uh, instead of hour you give one minute for the duration of one day Okay, now select is stop the task if it runs more than uh, three days, that is fine. Okay, and don't forget to select this enable box. And press OK. So our trigger is now enabled and uh, we will go to the action. And again, you can come here to this new. And you can see in this action, start a new program. You have to select this only, start a new program. And in the program script, you have to pass this bat file. You select this bat file, press the open. And in the add arg arguments, you keep this as a blank. And in the start in, which is marked as optional, but you must fill this field. And this field is basically like the directory of your program folder so if you come here so this is the directory you can copy here and you can paste here and after pasting you don't forget to add a backslash at the end press ok now you come to this uh, condition, you can keep the things as it is and come to the settings, you can change this as per your choice. I am keeping it all the settings like this only. So press OK. Now this, this completes the setup of the bat file in the Windows scheduler and now we will be testing our program. We will open this out file and we will delete everything and we will wait for one minute and we will see whether it is getting populated or not.
So one minute is over and you can see there is a change in the byte. Earlier it was zero and if we open it, you can see the wonderful things has been now written out here. Let's close this window, wait for another one minute and we will see how this uh, next line is getting populated in the output file. So one minute is over, let's open this output file and you can see here another line has been written here. So our script is now automated with the help of the bat file. So we have achieved uh, our requirement with the process one, the bat file method. And now we will try to achieve the same stuff with the help of the direct Python method. We will go back to the scheduler. We will disable this task. In order to disable this task, you just select it and press the right uh, click of your mouse and you can select this disable. Now we will create a one more task. Again, you press, put the cursor somewhere here and just uh, right click of your mouse and select this create new task. We will name this as a test one and we will select the, the stuff same as we have done for the bat file method. So run whether user is logged or not. Do not store password, run with highest privileges and now go to the triggers, go to this new tab, click on this, Select the daily. Now you come to this advanced settings. Repeat the task after every and in, in place of one hour, we will give minute. And don't forget to enable this. Press OK. Go to this action. Go to this new tab. Select this startup program in the action column and uh, in the program script, what you can pass is the Python exe path. And uh, as I told like to get that, you have to go to this run cmd and you have to pass where Python. Copy this. Uh, very first occurrence, put that in the program script and in the add arguments, if you remember, we have kept this add arguments as a blank, but now we will be passing our, the Python script name, which is test.py and in the start in, which is an optional field, we will be passing the complete directory of our Python script. Now let's go here again. You just copy this and uh, and just paste it here and don't forget to add a backslash in the last. Press OK. Come to this uh, condition and uh, just keep it as it is. I generally prefer this. Uh, default settings and come to the settings again and just keep it as it is or you can change the things as per your project requirement but this is just a simple tutorial we will keep the things as a default and press ok so our new task has now got created and it is ready actually now to test this uh, whether it is working properly or not uh, we will go to this out file and we will clear everything here. We will save it and we wait for another one minute to see whether the population is happening or not. So you can see the bytes has been changed from 0 to 1 KB. So something has been written out here. Now you can see the wonderful things has been written here. And uh, we will close it and we wait for another minute to see whether the file is getting populated or not as a next line as wonderful things. So one minute is passed and we will see our output file. You can see there is another line has been written out here. 
So guys, this is how we can schedule our Python scripts in the Windows scheduler. I try to keep the things very simple. Follow this process and uh, if you find my videos are helpful in learning the concept of the Python, please subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to like this video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.